This is Suzanne Wagner, and I'm doing the numerology and astrology for the 25th of July, 2022. If you add all those numbers together, you get the number 20. And if you add the 2 and the 0, you get the number 2. The number 2 brings in the element of mind and duality. This number is ruled by the planet Uranus, a crazy, wild, unpredictable celestial sphere that loves to throw wrenches into the works. Disruption of rational thought is the way it uproots and exposes antiquated beliefs by causing us to question habits and behaviors that are based in bias, paranoia, and obstinacy disguised as independence and the drive for freedom. In order to change, we must first change our mind. In order to change our mind, we have to get very uncomfortable with those things that we were told, then accepted, and blindly followed. While true freedom lives in a world that often begins in reckless and undisciplined manners, its abruptness also can stimulate original thoughts and creative genius. To fully embrace and experience and integrate one at change, one must keep all eyes open and looking ahead. That is because change needs to be prepared for. Problems need to be solved and dysfunction needs to be confronted. Today, it becomes clear that we are in a moment where more is required from us than prayers and dreams. In this moment, question what you believe and think. Question the intention of those that criticize the loudest and refuse to deal with what is right in front of them. Disrupt the comfort of those that want to take freedoms from women and minorities. Make the perpetrators miserable with the fear they use to target the most vulnerable. Inconsistencies matter because true integrity never falters. And the astrology today. The moon in Gemini keeps many things hopping and happening today. Expect to have much to do till this afternoon when it shifts into a more protective and defensive position of cancer. But before it shifts, let your curiosity out and get some things moving while the momentum lasts. The logical will shift into a more soulful consideration of cancer. And that is showing us what is necessary to move ahead. It is time to encourage more responsibility and accountability. It is time to put blame where it deserves. It is time to show history that we can learn from our mistakes. It is time to take control of this train that has been on the wrong track and careening out of control. To shift this dramatically will require all of us to work together. Let's see if we have it in us to take the hard steps that can help us do what is right and critically necessary for a future that our children's children will praise us for. Thanks everyone.